Peace and welcome to our Top 10 City Themes in Gaming. Our guidelines today include City Themes Only, No Towns, No Villages. All City Themes Qualify, Ruined Cities, Lost Cities, Underwater Cities, or any other kind of city you can think of. Last but not least, one per franchise. So with all of that being said, let's get this underway. Our first up today is from GoldenEye007, the St. Petersburg Streets. So you know the list is gonna be packed full of great themes when GoldenEye barely cracks into the top 10. This is just the beginning. The GoldenEye 007 soundtrack was composed by Grant Kirkhope, Graham Norgate, and the elevator theme by Robin Beanland. This theme by Grant Kirkhope. I like the dark feel, it has the feel of espionage. I would say it's not your stereotypical city theme, but I really enjoy it. Next, at number 9, we have Final Fight, Slums 2. You can choose pretty much any version, however, that Sega CD soundtrack of Final Fight is my favorite. It's not just simple bleeps and bloops from a sound chip, it's a full-on CD quality track. No compression to be found. Plus, it has that classic Capcom feel that I enjoy. The console versions of the theme are fine, but this one is definitely top tier. At number 8, we have Final Fantasy 7. You can hear the cry of the planet. From the City of the Ancients, it's not your typical city, but it is referenced numerous times. This was one of the most difficult to narrow down because of the vast amount of cities in each game. And there's over 100 Final Fantasy games out there, so I think it pretty much comes down to personal taste. And for me, the City of the Ancients always had a very memorable theme. It really fits the context of the game. It's perfectly on point. Lucky number 7 spot is held by F-Zero, Mute City. One of my favorite racing games, F-Zero was first released on the Super Nintendo on November 21st of 1990. This theme is a classic, and you can find it on numerous games in the series. You can even find it on Mario Kart 8. It was first released as part of some DLC, and this version kind of reminds me of that classic Capcom feel that we mentioned earlier. It's full CD quality, but this one has more of a rock feel. Number six, we have Chicago Stealth from Perfect Dark. A 
arranged and composed by Grant Kirkhope, this is already the second time he's featured on the list. Both of the entries coming from the Nintendo 64, a console with a unique approach to music in general, as the console has no dedicated sound chip. The sound was handled by the CPU. I wonder how the N64 would have been different if they implemented a dedicated sound chip. Number 5 spot comes from Etrian Odyssey 4, a city of radiant ruin. Arranged and composed by Yuzo Koshiro, this showcases his range really well. It's over 6 minutes long and there's so many changes in the beat that I can't play them all. I did get Yuzo's permission, but that doesn't stop YouTube's automated system from copyright claiming it, so I recommend giving it a listen. The beat starts out kinda chill, I imagine playing this while driving around at night and just enjoying the scenery. It has a certain chill vibe that I enjoy. However, it does pick up later in the beat, again, I recommend just giving this one a listen. Lucky number four comes from Batman, the streets of Gotham City. One of the best stage one themes, this one is a classic. The NES sound chip has a distinct sound, however, Sunsoft takes full advantage of it. In my opinion, Sunsoft games on the NES contain some of the smoothest tracks on the console. Their use of samples gives it a unique feel that doesn't sound like your typical NES theme. Our bronze position today is held by one of if not the best soundtrack on the Sega Genesis. From Streets of Rage 2, it's theme titled, Go Straight. The Sega Genesis has no business being this good. It's not supposed to sound so clean. There's no twang and what seems to be next to no compression. It's there, but the techniques used, the instruments used, and the way it's all put together, I think your average listener wouldn't even know it's from a 35-year-old video game. Arranged and composed by Yuzo Koshiro, nobody maximizes that YM2612 sound chip like him. He's a grand master at chip tunes. And if you see his name in the credits, you should probably check that game out. And at the very least, listen to the soundtrack. Our silver position today comes from one of my overall favorite soundtracks on the console. From Ninja Gaiden, here's Galesburg, The City. Coming from stage one of the first game, this theme is easily top tier. The action in the game is complemented by the feel of the theme. They go perfectly together. Some themes get better with each listen, but I like this one right off the bat. The energy it brings is contagious, and it levels up the concentration as well as sets the tone for the entire game. You're in for a difficult challenge, but it's 100% worth it. Up next we have our honorable mentions. 
and I do need to talk about one. It was disqualified because we don't include pop songs, however, this one needs to be on the list. Our top spot today comes from Double Dragon, mission number one. A classic city theme from a classic beat-em-up. This theme is full of energy from start to finish. I like the build-up and I really like the solo near the end of the track. One of the only NES tracks I have ever heard a solo on. And yes, this list today was mostly Nintendo games, and it's not that we're Nintendo fanboys, but Nintendo consoles consistently have talented composers. I dare say the greatest composers of video games have all composed for a Nintendo console, whether it be a home console or a handheld. When you make it a habit to hire the best video game composers, you get some of the best video game music. Up next is our top 10 sword fighter themes. As long as it's a theme for a person that uses a sword, it will pretty much qualify. We'll have the full guidelines in the next top 10 video. Last but never least, shout out to Golden Tier patrons, Bearsona, Quantum X, and MJJ. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.